The Ankafo Psychiatric Hospital, established about 53 years ago to render accessible, quality and efficient mental health care, has since not seen any renovation. The hospital is bedeviled with enormous infrastructural challenges that threaten its collapse, risking the lives of both staff and patients. In 2016 alone, about 26 mental patients absconded with the number increasing to 39 in 2017. A tour around the facility reveals that those who absconded may have taken advantage of the weak infrastructure to break through the windows at the wards. This is one of the rooms at the Nightingale Ward, which is supposed to be the VIP ward for the Ankafo Psychiatric Hospital. I'll take you inside for you to see the state of the dormitory of the VIP ward. It hosts about 37 patients. Unfortunately, these windows are some of the places that the patients used to abscond. I also take you back to their washrooms, which is in a very bad condition. These are the washrooms of the mental health patient. I understand that this place was cleaned this very morning, but it's always leaking. That is how come you find the place in such a state. The Nightingale Ward, which is popularly referred to as a VIP, was in so bad a state that even the patients had abandoned it. The road which leads to the reproductive health units of the hospital, where expectant mothers deliver has very bad roads, posing a risk to both the mother and unborn child. The mortuary at the hospital, which was a major source of revenue, has also broken down for two years now. This is the Ankafo Psychiatric Hospital mortuary, which was neglected about two years ago. It wasn't just neglected, but it was because it wasn't working. According to the medical health director, David Otto Srebo, the structure could help generate the much needed revenue to run the facility. We have the mug, which is uh, not operating because it's about two years now. It's about yeah. two years. The, the, the fridge broke down and we, we don't have money to even to repair them. So in that direction, we will seek a, a private participation. The staff quarters is also a death trap now. Apart from infrastructure, drugs meant for mental health patients which are supposed to be supplied to the facility for free are now sold by some pharmacists due to failure by government to provide subsidies on the drugs. One thing with um, psychotropic drugs, they are a bit expensive. They are more expensive than the normal drugs. Because maybe one, because of the availability, say people don't bring, import them. Because government is bringing them free. So why do you go and bring it? You can't sell them. So the, the few people who bring them, I mean, I don't know whether it's the, the normal price, well, market price, but their drugs are generally expensive. This nurse is very aggrieved by the situation. Ever since Kwame Nkrumah put up this um, facility, virtually we've not had any um, um, infrastructure development. Their washrooms is nothing to write home about. The food that the patient eats, in fact, if you see it, you might even cry. And sometimes when they eat there and they are not satisfied, they feel it is the nurses who didn't give them enough food and they sometimes they tend to even attack some of us. The health authorities are therefore calling on private organizations, corporate bodies and individuals to offer their support to these neglected patients who may pose a serious risk to society if not well catered for.